Hi everyone, Sue here. Welcome to my channel. Today we delve into my childhood mind again with a 1975 story from my school English exercise book. This short story is called The Potty Will or could it be The Potty Will? I'll leave you to make your mind up whether it's potty enough. So without further ado, when old Mr. Crockett died, his will was looked into, but all it said was, When I die, I want to be buried with my faithful old potty. It has served me on many a chilly night. All his relations and the solicitor, Mr. Cook, were disgusted by this one sentence because they wanted money and not a worthless old potty. But, exclaimed Mr. Cook, if the old man wanted to be buried with his potty, he shall be. The matter is closed, and all are dismissed. Everyone filed out of the room, leaving one small boy holding a large china potty painted with black fluorescent green and orange blobs and varnished. It was the only thing that old Mr Crockett had owned in his whole life, so it wasn't surprising that he wanted to rot away with it. The potty was sent to the morgue and it was put in the coffin. Nobody cried at Mr Crockett's funeral for not many people liked him, and when it had finished they walked away yawning. This was about a hundred years ago and at this time there were body thieves around and two came late at night, about two days after the funeral. They dug the coffin up and wrenched out the nails, but to their surprise, only a skeleton and a potty were left in the coffin. The old man had already started to wither away before he died. The thieves took the potty by the handle, but it fell off. They were displeased at first, but then one of them, a short, stocky man, saw a small piece of paper and he picked it up. It was old and yellowed, but he could still read it in his torchlight. It said, For whoever finds this, there is a large sum of money hidden in the base of the potty. It is yours, tax free. The two men scrabbled around in the potty. It was an odd sight for the taller man had the piece of paper in his mouth and when he found the money he jumped up and swallowed the paper. The stocky man shot the tall man but at the same time the tall man shot the stocky man so nobody had the money and all that was left were two dead men, a skeleton, a large sum of money and a handleless potty. The End well, I hope you enjoyed the potty wheel. My teacher, Mr B, gave me 9 out of 10 for this one, so he must have quite liked it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon. <laughs>